Hey boys, welcome back to some more NRL season 2022 discussions. And uh, as you can see from the title, I'm going to be discussing the Queensland Origin team. I'm going I'm to be going through the team I would like to see get picked. Now, granted, most of these guys are, are pretty much lock-ins. And um, by the time, I don't know, by the time this video goes up, the... The teams, or the squad, I think the squads all have been announced, um, but I don't I don't know if the teams have been properly announced yet, but uh, I'm making this like uh, a couple of days probably before they, they announce the, the squads and stuff, so I'll go, I'll go through, I'll go through it, um, I got it's, it's pretty stock standard, but there, there's probably a couple, a couple um, that uh, maybe people people would be scratching their heads at potentially but uh, the front row i think the front row pretty much picks itself harry grant clearly josh papali'i and i think uh tino big tino is uh obviously playing a lock for the Titans, but uh, you know he, he's lock prop there's not too much difference and uh, i think tino tino i think does suit pl uh, playing prop probably more so uh especially for big games like this um but uh, you know, you, you could start him at lock. You could start him at prop. He, he's a, he's a shoe in. The back row. So I've started with Jai Arrow and Kurt Capel. No Felice Kafusi. Now, I know Kafusi is going to get picked. I, I think personally, I, I think they're going to go with Kafusi and Capewell. I think they'll be the starting back rowers, and I don't hate it. Like you know, I don't I don't think Kafusi has been like. Poor. I don't think his form has been like terrible not to get picked. And, you know, he's an experienced head. The the Queenslanders, you know, they're they're they are a young side on the up. They they do have some experience, but they're they're definitely a younger side, I think. So having a Kafusi there is not a bad thing. Personally, I think that you know, they could be a stronger team with um with Arrow and Capel as the starters and not having Kafusi in the side. But you know, at the end of the day, Kafusi He's still one of the best back rollers as, as as at kick pressure, just putting pressure in general on the on the halves. You know he knows his job, he does it well. So I, they're gonna pick Kafusi, but uh, in in my team I've gone with Arrow and Capel, and then the starting lock I've gone with Pat Carrigan. I mean he he's just been exceptional for the Bronx. Um, you know he adds he adds a little bit. Um, He's he's got decent ball playing, you know, not not uh, not up there with uh, Isaiah Yo, but he he's got a bit about him, and uh, he does have, he's got that offload ability in him, and he's just, I mean, you know, he's 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 Origin, he's he's built the whole cliche, he's built for Origin, so Carrigan gets the starting lock spot, uh, the halves clearly pick themselves, Cherry Evans, Cameron Munster, you know, I mean Cherry Evans, you know, his form has been, I think. It's weird. The manly side have been, <laughs> they've been very up and down. And, you know, you look at some of their plays in the team and just because Tom Trebojevic is out, you're like, they still have the Queensland halfback. Why can they not win games? But, you know, I don't know. I think Cherry Evans has still been pretty good. And, uh, you know, the other sort of half contentions for the for the Queensland team, they're, they're definitely too young and not ready for it yet. So, you know, in a couple of years, there's some there's some good youngsters coming through. I guess the other one we'll talk about him on the bench, but uh, Benny Hunt. Um, personally, I wouldn't have him starting halfback in Origin. I think he he does work way better off the bench as a utility. Um, so yeah, the halves pick themselves. The back line. So the centers again. This is this is going to be the centers. Dane Gagai, Valentine Holmes. Gagai clearly Holmes. I th I think he's 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 has he found his position. I I still think Holmes is. <laughs> I still think Holmes is a fullback. I, I'm gonna be honest. I I I know a lot of people have uh you know been critical, uh at times of him at fullback, but I I think his best position would be fullback. But um, in Origin. I think uh, I think you know he's played well. He's played very well in the centres for, for the Cowboys. So it, it feels it feels a bit of a weak spot for the Queenslanders. You know, it's it, it's weird how the the tie changes, dude. Like it, when we had that dominant run, man, we had some centres. Man, we had some centres. It was ridiculous. I mean, obviously the mainstays of Inglis and Hodges. I mean, the, the two best centres, arguably to to play the game 
Um, you know, you throw a cup like Brent Tate was, was sort of, you know, he was a little bit before, but he was still, he was more on the wing in origin at points. You know, Israel Folau at, at, at points, like they, oh man, they had some outside backs. But, um, you know, the, the centers, it's been a bit of a bit of a weak spot. They've had some guys sort of fill in and and do a good job. Dane Gagai is, as you know, he, he was the best winger in Origin for a long time. And um, he, he sort of, you know, he's got his main spot now in in Origin. And I think he, he'll do a great job. And, and Holmes, I, I, you know, he, he's very, like he's, He's extremely dangerous defensively. You know he, he can still he can still come up with some poor reads, but uh, attacking wise, you love to have him out there. And then the back three, the back three was tough. Now Ponga, I think clearly the fullback. I think you know Ponga gets <laughs> Ponga gets overly criticised in a terrible Knights team. I, I still think he he's arguably their best player like week on week. But you know people love to hate on Ponga. I, he he definitely deserves the the fullback spot, and then I've gone with Xavier Coates and Murray Tuolangi. So Xavier Coates, a, a few people have have sort of been a little bit against Coates recently. Obviously with Storm, Storm have been pretty poor the last uh, the last few weeks, and um, and uh, especially on Coates' side, they they've let in some some points, but. You know, I think the inside men have have, <laughs> have definitely contributed to some of those points as well. And I think I think Coates is um, I think he's a good pickup. Like I I th- I think I think he deserves the spot. I think he's been pretty good. Um, you know, you can look at like nearly every winger in the in the comp. Um, and they come up with some bad reads at times. And uh, it sort of, you know, it depends who's inside of them, if, if they get cover or not. And, uh, well, if, if it sort of emphasizes any sort of weak spots. But uh, Coates, he's effort. You know, he's come up with some some great try savers, even in some, you know, poor games for the for the Storm. And he, he's been... He's been doing a lot more of the hard yards at the Storm. He's still not a guy that does like 20 runs a game, but uh, he's a big body. He, he he puts his all in. He's an attacking threat in the air, which I think we need. Um, and uh, yeah, I think I think he's a good pickup. And then Murray Tuolungi. So I <laughs> going to honestly, I th- I think he's been incredible the last couple of years. Um, I think out of him and Fel- obviously Felt is injured anyway, but out of those two, I've, I've thought that Toa Lange has been like far better <laughs> in that team. I mean, Felt's been good, but Toa Lange has been on another level. He, he's defensively very strong. Um, his his kick returns great. Big body, uh, freak of a ta- like he is. He looks so nonchalant when he's on the field, but he is he is a freak. Um, so I think I think Tuolangi deserves a spot. And honestly, I, Cobo, I was gonna go Tuolangi and Cobo um, and dropping Xavier Coates, but I don't know. I feel like I wouldn't be disappointed if Cobo gets a spot. And I, who do I think they're gonna choose? I think Coates is definite, and then I don't think they're gonna pick Tuolangi. I think it'll. I think it'll be Cobo. <laughs> I think it'll be Coates and Cobo, or maybe um, or maybe Oates and Cobo. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, Corey Oates has been pretty solid, and I mean, he he gives you great go forward. So he he's been in the mix as well for sure. But um, I think I think Tualangi just gives he gives all of the skills and uh, all the try scoring. Like there's. I mean, all the wingers nowadays are freaks, but um, Tuolangi provides, like, his try scoring is unbelievable. The, the Some of the stuff he's done. Um, he provides all that, and then I think he just, I think he just has a little bit extra than those other guys. So I don't think he's going to get picked, but I would love to see him there. And then Cobo, I, I could see him over Coates. That, that was a tough one. Coates, Cobo, Oates, they're, they're all... It, it was a tough one. We we do have some decent depth in the in the wing department for sure, and then on the bench, the bench was was uh, was tough. Well, the one spot was tough. So Ben Hunt picks himself. He he's sort of a perfect number fourteen. You know he can't really play in the in the back five, but um, you've got cover. Like if a back one of the back five goes down, you know Cameron Munster can push. Uh, he can push to like fullback, 
Ponga can go like onto the wing or in the centers potentially. You can swing it around that way and Ben Hunt can go into the halves. Ben Hunt can fill obviously dummy half if, if Grant needs a spell. Um, and then you can just use Ben Hunt as, the, as a lock. You know, he's strong defensively. He, he's got a little spark about him and uh, he plays well in Origin. He, he, does do, he does do a great job in Origin. So Ben Hunt, great utility. I think it's... Uh, I think it's position that Queensland have sort of had a little bit of an edge over New South Wales because New South Wales always seem to pick... Um, they pick a guy who's in good form, but they're not really... They're not really that useful unless there is an injury. Because I'll, I'll, I'll do a New South Wales uh, team picker as well, but I think they're probably going to pick Nico Hines as their 14. And I mean... That's good cover if, uh, you know, if, if you get an injury. But where are you going to play Nico Hines if there's no injury? Are you are you really going to bring him on as another forward? I mean, he's okay defensively, but um, if, if there's not an injury, I feel like New South Wales have had a bit of a, um, a wasted position as the utility. But Ben Hunt, you, you, you'll use him regardless, I feel like. Um, you know, New South Wales have had Jack Wine, uh, what was it, last year? Did they even last year or the year before? Um, but yeah, I think that's one area that Queensland have had a, a little bit of an advantage, having Ben Hunt as at 14. Uh, Ruben Cotter on the bet. You have to pick this guy. He's... <laughs> I, don't get me wrong. I was actually tempted to go Ruben Cotter as the 14 instead of Ben Hunt and having three other forwards because Cotter can obviously play dummy half and obviously through the middle just as a running forward as well. But I felt like it, it probably limits the utility a little bit. So I've gone with Hunt still and uh, Cotter just as that, uh, you know, you can play him. Pro he's not a, he's not big, but my God, he, he is he is some player. It's been so annoying the last couple of years because he, he's sort of been riddled with injuries. And you just knew, you just knew this kid uh, would, would, would turn it on when he gets some, uh, some actual game time. And I mean, he's just a machine. He's an absolute machine. Like I've seen some people come out and, you know, talk like the... He's sort of the Dallas Johnson 2.0, and he sort of is, but I feel like he's, he's a bit extra than Dallas Johnson. Like, he makes his tackles, but he, he offers a little bit more in, in attack. You know, he, he's got... Uh, he's stocky. He can break tackles. He's got an offload. He can pass the footy. So, I, I think Cotter is perfect. Uh, Mo Fodawaka gets a spot. Now, I think in, in a poor Titans team, Fodawaka has been... I think he's been fantastic. I, I think he 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 and Tino have been have been great, and I probably think Fodawaka has has been arguably their best their best player for the, for the year. He obviously missed this week with with an ankle injury, I think. So I, I don't I don't know. Depending on how serious it is, maybe he's out injured. But um, if he's fit, I think Fodawaka deserves the spot. He provides great X factor coming on through the middle, and then I've gone with. <laughs> I've gone with I've gone with David for feed out now there there was some there was some decent other options like Queensland do have have some pretty good options I, I think we have a really good forward pack I'm not gonna lie but I I, I don't know I I think you gotta pick David for feeder like I just I feel like he's such an X factor you know you don't have to play in big minutes and he, he doesn't, he's not going to be like the Titans out on the edge just bludging for, for 70 minutes and then taking a few runs um, and scoring an odd try here and there. You know, you, you put him on like a bit before half time. You know, I don't know. You might play him longer depending how he's going. But you put him on there and rev him up to just go hard for 20, 20 30 minutes and, uh, and try to cause some damage. Because, I mean, just having someone like that to come on when the game is sort of getting a little bit there's a fatigue and and just having a tackle breaker like that through the middle or on an edge i feel like it's too good to pass up now don't get me wrong it was a tough choice because if we look um look at props there's there's some good ones lindsey collins you know he, he's obviously been out with you know he was out for the start of the year with injury he's he's starting to come you know he's he's picking it back up but i don't think his form has been great um but i could definitely see him getting picked as well i, I wouldn't be surprised if he's on the bench um 
and you know he's going to be solid he's he is a very good player so he was definitely up there thomas flegler was probably the guy i was i was most considering instead of fafita because flegler i think flegler is uh is very good he he definitely <laughs> he definitely has some mistakes he definitely has some penalties in him but he he's also very tough to handle and uh He's got that offloading, which is which is offloading offloads are a killer in in NRL nowadays. Like teams that offload well, are, are, you know they do very well. But uh, Flegler, he was right up there. Um, who else was uh, who else was I thinking? Um, Quish, uh, Christian Welsh, obviously disappointing. He's out injured. He you know another fantastic prop. Um, Honestly, like, I wouldn't beat Josh Maguire. But, you know, he's actually been pretty good the last couple of weeks in the back row for the for the Dragons. Francis Molo, he played last year. I, I thought he was he deserved his spot, and um, I, I I wouldn't hate to see him there again this year. Like, he just provides that uh, that aggression. You know, he's a scary man, so I I wouldn't hate Francis Molo. But out of him and Fafita, I just feel like Fafita gives you a little bit a little bit extra. And, uh, you know, Queensland already have, like, a lot of guys that can play big minutes, make their tackles, make their runs. So, I just think some X-Factor guys are, are not too bad. And then the second row, there, there's definitely some options. Um, Bo uh I, I I thought... Um, I know they kept... They've been talking about him as a Queensland bolter for the last couple of weeks. But I, I could have sworn, like, maybe, like, a year or so ago... Or whenever he started the Titans, I, I thought Andrew Johns was talking about Fermore being like a Newcastle junior. Um, I could have sworn he was talking up uh, Fermore as uh, as an ex Newcastle boy. <laughs> I could have maybe he was a different player, but um, I thought he was New South Wales. But uh, you know, Fermore, I think he would do a job. But uh, again, I think there's better options. Uh, Felice Kafusi, obviously, like I, I, like I said, I think Kafusi will start, and that will probably push Arrow to the bench instead of Fafita, or maybe Fodawaka. I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do. Um, or maybe Arrow starts to lock, and Carrigan goes back to the bench potentially. So yeah, Kafusi obviously, you know, he's an obvious choice. I mean, Helam Lukey. I'm, I was surprised he's a Queenslander as well. I thought he would be. I thought he'd be a Kiwi, but uh, um, it's very nice. <laughs> it's very nice that he's a Queenslander because uh, he is a future star. Like out of all the young back rowers, he is. A, he's a monster. I don't think he's ready for Origin, but man, he is good. Uh, Jeremiah Nenai, it looks like uh, from reports that he might be getting a, a debut. Uh, I don't think he should get picked. Like, he's been really good, but I don't think... I, I think there's better options at the moment than, than Nenai. Like, on form, he probably does deserve it, but I, I don't know. I don't think I could go with Jeremiah Nenai um, at the moment. He, I mean... Helam Lukey and Nanai are gonna be gonna be uh, Queensland players for a long time, but not at the moment. I feel like uh, who else have we got? <sighs> James, dude. Oh, I'm so mad that Silver is out injured. Fucking Hargraves twists his twists his knee in a tackle. He's gone. Sua Sua would have had starting. Um, actually, probably not starting. I would have had him on the bench for sure. Um, he's been fantastic, but. Uh, yeah, there's definitely some options, but uh, that is the way my team. I I would like the team to be, and like I said, probably the only one I'm 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 not sure is Xavier Coates, Cobo, or Co uh, Oates. <laughs> Either one of those three, I think. I don't really hate it, and then but I I think Murray Tuolangi deserves the the one wing spot. So yeah, that's my team. Um, we'll find out pretty soon what the actual team will be. But, uh, but yeah, let me know in the comment section any any changes you guys would make, um, any any bolters, any any you know any big names missing potentially. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. I'll uh, I'll do a New South Wales one as well. Just sort of obviously I won't be talking too much about sort of the players I want, but um, just sort of the team I, I think they should pick potentially. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.